Hi everyone. Um, this is a quick video uh, about uh, Benito NTI's new CCMC30, uh, which is a coaxial common mode noise filter. Uh, it utilizes a sort of series of ferrite cores, frequency dependent materials. Um, and the idea of this device is that you um, insert it in line between your receiver and your antenna, particularly an active antenna, and it's been designed to uh, reject noise uh, greater than 30 dBs between 150 kilohertz um, and 30 megahertz. Um, but Benito also say that, for example, on medium wave, a noise suppression of up to 45 dBs can be achieved, which is obviously brilliant. Now, you all know that I'm a great fan of uh, noise eliminating devices, and I've been successfully using the uh, GI300 um, galvanic isolator um, which at my shack at least um, always or nearly always reduces the lowers the noise floor by a few db so i always use it um, whenever i'm dxing at home um, where, where it, it could be attached to the elad for me, medium wave dx uh, same goes for the low hf 150 i use it on the back of that if i'm um, dxing on hf short wave and uh, medium wave uh, and it's worked really well i know other people have this device and one or two found that it, it didn't uh offer any uh any noise reduction in in their shack it might well be that their environments are electrically much quieter i don't know but in my shack um the gi 300 um works very well and this is essentially the, uh, does the same thing but uh, according to Benito um, this performs very well down to the lowest frequencies including DC voltage um, which in contrast to the GI300 which is now the GI1000 and I have they sent me one of each um, 300 is the one I've been using for a, a while um, it blocks the GI three the GI one thousand blocks DC voltages and low and low frequencies. The but the CCMC thirty uh, can be connected directly to the coax, which passes the supply voltage uh, or or the control signals from an active antenna. So uh, effectively, you've got a device that does the same thing, but at, at very low. At, 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 it's still effective at very low frequencies. Um, so what I'm intending to do uh, with this, and I have to thank D Dennis at Benito for sending me this device to test, um, as he did the GI1000 and previously the, 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 the GI300. I'm going to devise a test to test this device. Um, and that's going to involve, and I'm going to do it in real time. So I'm going to show um, the same signal as a, as a, as a target um, being received through the um, SDR Play RSP Duo uh, with this device uh, in circuit on one of the receivers and uh, and uh, com and comparing that um, to the other signal uh, without it. And for that, of course, I need to employ two antennas that effectively um, uh, perform identically or literally almost identically uh, and, uh, and and I have those antennas one is the mega active MA305 and the other is the Benito Bonnie whip um, the differences in those antennas is what that one both can operate on 12 volts but the MA305 uh, can operate on 5 volts but I'm going to operate them both on 12 volts and I'm going to um, test this theory that the performance is the same by viewing the same signal using both antennas in real time um, you, uh, on the RSP Duo. So that will be the basis of at least my first test. So, but I'll do another video on that. But for now, at least um, I know, you, as I said, you know, I've been a fan of the GI three hundred, which is now the GI one thousand, uh, and this CCMC thirty um, designed to do the same thing but also works very well at lower frequencies so uh, i'm uh, intrigued to uh, test this device and uh, and see uh, how well it works so uh, more videos to come okay thanks for watching